everyone welcome to grade up my name is hemant parihar these are the lectures on discrete mathematics in this we will be seeing what are the topics come inside the discrete mathematics and then we will see the other other videos uh, discrete mathematics is very important topic for gate point of view it has lot of weight also it is the foundation course of many other gate subject in discrete mathematics you will be learning about prepositions so preposition help you to understand the statement better and once you suppose you are doing a solving a question when you completely understand the question that means you have solved the question 50% and then the 50% will be how you solve it but 50% of the question is solved when you understand the question properly and that what the preposition does to you we will be learning about combinatorics in uh, combinatorics we will be uh, learning how to count the things and any other subject you will pick you can frame questions such that we will be we have to do the countings and uh, then uh, combinatorics help us to do the counting better we will be having a graph theory and graph theory improve your understanding about networks and we have uh, we will be seeing lots of uh, net problem where we have lots of these network kind of thing we have a subject computer networks topologies all these kind of thing you will learn better once you understand uh, graph very well so and also we will be having set theory in set theory we will be doing relations and in dbms we have a relational database so at that time uh, database in database discrete mathematics helps so that's why it is the foundation to many other subjects also we in my engineering time i did the discrete mathematic topic in third semester and why they why they allowed why they proposed to do the discrete mathematic in third semester because they know that it is the foundation to many other subject that's why if you are starting your grade preparation starting with the discrete mathematic will be very very good and you will enjoy it and first of all to learn any subject any new subject you must love it you try to develop the try to develop uh, how to develop interest in the subject and once you develop the interest in a subject you will learn it and even you master it if you develop the interest uh, toward the subject so we will be starting discrete mathematics first we will see what are the weightage and uh, how previous year it's come like in 2018 uh, it is of 9 uh, marks 9 marks here and in 2017 paper 1 uh, and paper 2 it is of 8 and 7 marks in 2016 it is 8 marks and 8 marks and uh, in 2015 in paper 1 it is of uh, 11 marks in paper 2 9 marks paper 3 8 marks 2014 paper 1 12 marks then paper 2 8 marks and paper 3 is 10 marks so you see that uh, discrete mathematics has good weightage about uh, actually math come of 15 marks among them 15 marks we will be having discrete math as well as engineering mathematics and in discrete math comes of 9 to 10 marks and engineering mathematics comes 5 to 6 marks so you should know that uh, discrete mathematics is really important and once you want to, to be a rank under 100 you have to learn every subject you cannot skip anything that's why learning discrete mathematics is very very important so now the books for discrete mathematics kenneth rosen is very good books uh, it has lot of problems uh, lot of uh, and it is also under and reading from it is good it's simple reading language and lots of problem are there you can do it and uh, if you are interested in graph theory proofs in graph theory so there is a book uh, cl lewy that is a very nice book so many proofs are there for many theorem proofs are there it is really good book for graph theory and now we will see what is discrete mathematics discrete mathematics is the study of mathematical structure that are fundamentally discrete rather than continuous so what does it mean okay we will be studying mathematical structure okay some math kind of structure and that are fundamentally discrete uh fund discrete okay not continuous they are not continuous they are discrete so what are they for sets so set is a collection of well defined distinct objects so first we define what we are doing to collect 
and then they are the distinct object this is what a set is okay for example the set a here 0 1 are the two element of the set a and 0 1 are the discrete object they are discrete obviously 0 is something that is discrete but then what is the continuous so continuous is for example this y is equal to max so this is a straight line passing from the origin in xy plane if you draw it that will be a straight line like this y is equal to max so it is a continuous in and for every point you will have a value for y it is a continuous but what is this script? like that here uh, these uh, the set a is the collection of discrete object actually sometime it happen we complete the entire discrete mathematics but we don't know the definition of discrete mathematics so in discrete mathematics we will be studying the structure most of the time we will be studying the structure that are fundamentally discrete okay let's see okay so first topic we will be covering is the preposition logic as i earlier said preposition logic help you to understand the statement patterns once you understand the statement better that means you are able to understand the question properly and that is very important point of view even if you, even you came up with a new questions that you haven't seen anywhere even then uh, once you understand the question properly you are able chances are high that you will solve it that's what the proposition logic does and we will be saying some basic properties about it what is predicate quantifier what is tautology contradiction contingency in the upcoming lecture we will be covering all these kind of thing inference rule is very good topic we will be learning five to six inference rule and then we will and see how to convert english sentences into logical expressions and once uh, also preposition logic is used to logic is used to proofs and uh, we convert the english statement into the logic expression then we prove those uh, then we give the mathematical proof we will be seeing the first order logics also and uh, in combinatorics first we will be seeing some rule and the product rule this is very important then permutation and combination you already know it but we will be learning here in depth okay and this is something new that you haven't done combination with repetitions uh, it is very good you, we will be covering it it is like that uh, you have a set 1 2 3 3 3 n and i ask you to select m number from it such that repetition is allowed so you can select uh, m1 also m1 and uh, so and i will ask you uh, in how many way you can select uh, these m numbers such that repetition is allowed we will be seeing in this combination with repetition begin whole possible so it is just the name is that is tough but the concept is very easy and we will be learning it generating function so this is something you have you haven't done it and uh, we will be doing it briefly because this topic requires some time also and be using it you will solve some very good problem very easy so that is generating function is very important and uh, in set theory we will be learning about relations uh, type of relations uh, counting of relation we will be doing countings how many reflexive relations are there how many symmetric relations are there all these kind of thing then we will be function and their type uh, equivalence and poset relation has diagram lattice distributive lattice boolean algebra all these are very 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 important for gate of point of view actually set theory has the highest weightage among all of the topics in discrete mathematics about four to five marks set theory always come in gate examinations on an average four to five marks very good questions come from set theory and relation help you to understand the dbms concept better so lot of application about set theory then we will be having group theory i think i don't think group theory will be completely new and we will be learning it first we will see the basic simple five properties of group what is abelian group and cyclic group and their property we will be covering that also graph theory is very good topic also in uh, suppose uh, in it's interviews uh, and isc they ask lot of questions uh, for proof 
to prove this thing this thing and they are the mainly from the graphs so that's why graph theory is very important as for for get, get written examination as well as for interviews it is very important most of the question are come from probability in interview probability linear algebra graph theory and algorithm so that's why a learning graph theory proof is very important and i tried my best to do some proofs that are high high chances to come in the interviews uh, as well as in the gate examination so in graph theory we will be like doing hand shaking lemma what are the types of graph we have lot of types of graph we will be learning all of them then we will be doing euler path hamiltonian path okay these are really good hamiltonian and euler very good concept and then we will be learning planar graph graph curl ring connectivities of the graph okay so any yani edge connectivity these kind of thing matching we will be seeing in matching we will have perfect matching then we will be having <coughs> so we will do that matching part also and we will do the important theorem of graph that is really important there are many many theorems in graph and there are really really good and they are very easy to prove so with some intuition we are able to prove it so that's why graph theory is also very important for gate point of view <laughs> and in the end i like to say that develop the interest toward the subject once you develop the interest toward the subject you will learn it very easily you will not face any problem so try those thing you will find those problems you will find very interesting like in combinatorics you will be having very very good counting problems try to solve them you will develop the interest and once you develop the interest you try to solve more and more problems and at that time so you just doing that continue and you will master the discrete mathematics in not forget point of view you will do it very well for others point of view also so if you have any query post it on that i will try my best to answer all of them thank you so much